Hi, YouTube girls. I know I've been distant. I'm sunburned as absolute fuck right now, so just ignore that. This man is walking this fat ass dog. In, like not like an obese dog just like a little huge ginormous dog in the alleyway right now and I'm like so Hmm look at that fucker. He's here. It probably looks like a golden retriever from that clip today We're gonna organize we're spring cleaning this bitch. Oh, let me show you what we're specifically organizing eh? Organizing oh my god. I cannot even talk. Okay. This is Beautiful desk. I moved here in January. Sorry. I was body checking what my makeup's a mess my this is also a mess. This is also a mess. So today we're really just organizing the bedroom. Like this is crazy. This is also ridiculous. This is too much. And this is just a lot. But, and then I have to get all these clothes into the closet. I wanna like decorate the bed a little bit so you guys are gonna see me do all of that. Oh, I'll show you what I got. Let me show you what I got to organize that. Number one. I got two of these bitches, so praying they just they just look good. Two of these. And let's organize. number one Ooh. number two my lip plumpers these are my lip stains these are like my everyday lips that I like to wear and then these are just ones that I probably will not wear and then we have hair slash deodorant I guess so that one still needs a little bit of help then we have skincare this is my everyday skincare and this is body care this is skincare I don't really use and then in the back is tanning stuff. And that's literally it. <laughs> I did that. And I was like, no, nobody gets it. I'm exhausted. I put the pillows on the bed. I cannot tell if I hate them. Yeah, I probably do. Actually, they're not that bad. They're like kind of cute. I like, don't know where I put my camera, which is like really fucking concerning because like how can one lose a camera? So I'm recording on my second phone, which is on, it's the iPhone 13. I don't hate it that much, but my sexy neighbor, my sexy neighbor saw my boobs this morning, which was lovely, but I'm like really annoyed about my phone. We have a bunch of PR and packages to open. I fully feel like I'm being punked right now about my camera, but we're just gonna go on with the PR packages. Sorry if this quality is shitty. A bitch somehow lost her camera. How did I lose my camera? Okay, first package is from Nude Sticks. Which Nude Sticks sent a bunch over. It was really nice of them. Oh, it's like a full bag. Oh my God, like Nude Sticks sent everything. But like, that's not even it. Nude Sticks, let's see. Nude Scream Every Day, cute. Then Nude Sticks sent over. There's so much in here. Wait, what nude sticks? This is like kind of a lot, girls. Um, okay. Their entire new collection of the nude sticks SBF sunscreen blush tint. Thank you, nude sticks. But then I have like a whole bag of goodies in here. We have their nude six, six shades inspired by Mother Earth. Okay, nude sticks. Their nude screen mineral veil. I'm getting like overwhelmed. But I'm grateful, but overwhelmed. Okay, they're mineral veil in like every color. More mineral veil. That's a lot of mineral veil. Um, 
Thank you, nude sticks. These are like their sculpt and contour sticks. And then these look like they're their foundation, tinted coverage foundation. Okay, thanks, girls. This is their skin. Like these are their face masks right here. Then we have nude sticks. Oh, this is like fully out of the thing. Nude glow peptide serum with hyaluronic acid. Hmm. Let me just be putting that onto my new makeup routine. I mean, skincare routine. So many other things. Nude sticks glow all over highlighter. Lip butter. Oh, I fucking love a lip butter. Thank you, nude sticks. Blot and blur matchstick. Much needed. Oh my gosh. You seem to be doing face full of Okay, a bunch of nude sticks, hydrating stick, another lip butter. I love lip butters. Thank you, nude sticks, for the lip butters. And then another lip butter. <laughs> another lip butter. You guys are probably so over me saying that. They're blushes. Um, that was a lot. Thank you, nude sticks. I actually am, so, I've never really tried any of nude sticks stuff, but I went to one of their events and I absolutely loved the founder and just like her mission of everything. What the fuck am I saying? But I did. Hold on a damn minute. Oh. These bitches have Summer Fridays beat down. Wait, hold on. Oh, they're colored. Oh, it's like kind of getting like Hailey Bieber Rogue. Definitely not on that PR list, but ow. Okay, wait, I'm impressed by these. I just like cannot believe I lost a camera. My camera. I think I need to sit down and like read my book and relax for a second because I've been running around since 7 a.m. So maybe that might be why I'm like jolted and annoyed. Okay, Alani always says, <laughs> so interesting. Hold on. Oh, wait, is this a beach towel? <sighs> That's actually so crazy because I was just saying I need a beach towel. It kind of looks like a flag. I think this is a beach towel. I'm gonna use it as one. And then they sent their who the fuck is that? Oh, Olivia. So they opened in transit. Not me all of my like Alani news. Okay, then I just have my Boho's to open, my Boho package that I ordered personally, but it was from like a Coachella thing. Um, so I'm just gonna open those off camera because if I have a meant to be about trying the clothes and then they look bad or like I look huge, quote unquote, like I'm just gonna have them on TV. So it's better that we do it off camera. But I am speaking of cameras, let me find my- No. I actually feel like the universe is playing a sick, sick fucking joke to me because I've been looking, I've been, oh my God, let me focus. I've been looking for this damn camera everywhere. It's been driving me fucking crazy. You wanna know where it was? Sitting right there on the couch. You want to know where I was? Sitting right there on the couch. I didn't see it until I came back out. There's no fucking way. Anyways, I was in such a bad mood because I couldn't find my camera. I do want to go on a walk. I actually don't want to go on a walk, but like I should go on a walk. I'm trying to hit 10K steps a day. Apparently, you're supposed to be doing that. I have not been doing that. Um, so I'm going to go on a walk. And then... I'm gonna come home and make dinner because I am starving. So, look at my little lemmy corner. I'm a, I'm a lemmy girl through and through. You can't say shit that won't make me love lemmy. But these nude six little lip butters, 10 out of 10. Not me out here. I look like somebody's grandmother in this damn. I'm wearing like a full. <laughs> I'm wearing a full cheetah print, like head to toe pajama. But this was like a hectic video, like a hectic vlog. So I was like, wait, why don't I catch up with them? Because um, I haven't, last thing I posted was the Coachella vlog, which I think was now two weeks ago by the time I get this one up. Please, I honest to God look like somebody's grandmother. Like I cannot take myself seriously. Right? Like what? Like we should, I should give you guys a life update in all aspects of life. <sighs> Where do I even go? Like, I need to look at what I posted on YouTube. I feel like, oh my God, I actually feel like my life has drastically changed in the, like looking back at the videos where I look back at the Hello Molly event Nicole and I went to for the Oscars. I feel like so much has fucking happened since then. I was fully seeing a man and I did fully cut that man off, but like I was fully seeing somebody 
one day I like talked about it on TikTok, but why I ended things with that man, it just like basically wasn't it. Like that's I just want to put things nicely and like put it to bed. Like wasn't it? Wasn't a vibe? Wasn't meeting meeting the standards I have for myself? Wasn't showing me myself worth? And some other little things happened, but we'll talk about that one day one day you guys but that was just like a weird fucking situation i'm really glad to be out of that like when you have i was telling nicole this but like i don't know i feel like these men they really attempt to love bomb me and like i'm still hesitant with them because like immediately I'm like oh my god i like you so much and i'm like okay like why wouldn't you you know what I mean? why would you not like me then okay get it baby like, get it but then i'm just like over it i get over Oh, I almost just dropped this. I get over it pretty quickly and I like take a step back. Like there's little things where I'm like, this person doesn't even know me. Like you're trying to do all the love bombing things. Like I'm just, like, you get the flowers, like the dates, like all these things. Like don't get me wrong. It's so not, you're telling me how amazing I am 24 seven. I'm like eating it up, whatever. But I'm still like at the back of my head, like knowing like, you're probably not going to be the one for me. Like you're probably not. And like even no, and this is going to sound really cunty of me, but I'm like, I feel like these men like literally don't even know me because it's just, there's been several times where it's like, for instance, this man got me orchids. I don't like orchids. I've never once said anything about a fucking orchid in my life. And I know that sounds cunty. I know that sounds cunty, but I'm just like, cause he like got me a flower or anything like that. But at the same time, it just shows like, oh, like you literally don't know me. And I don't think you're getting, even wanting to take the time to get to know me. I just think you're kind of, love bombing me and you're like taking it too far too soon with like these little th and it just is like i want someone who like knows me you know someone who like does like those things like gets me roses because he knows that's my favorite flower kind of thing or just you know go we go on these dates because he knows i like that and i'm also like i'm a high name maintenance bitch but like the little things mean the most to me and like i'm not like that high maintenance either rob like why the fuck aren't we going to know boo it's like I can do that with my girlfriends, like, whatever. But, yeah, I just feel like it's, they're trying to do all these, like, extravagant things to, like, win me over. I feel like I've been coming to a lot of realizations about my dating and, like, my dating history and everything like that. And the frontal lobe is develop developing is, like, what I'll fucking say to you guys. And it's just, like, yeah, that is when I move forward with dating. I'm honest to God, no hoes on the roster, nothing. I really don't have interest in that i'm really focused work wise of things i'm doing which we'll talk about in a second but like dating wise i don't want to date until like not date i'm just like i'm not gonna settle we know i'm not gonna settle i don't want to be with someone unless they like really want to get to know me and like do things like there's like little things i love where it's just like going to the beach or like something like that where i'm like I'm over the like, oh my God, I like you so much. It's like, you don't even know me. You don't even know me. Like, so I'm just, yeah, I'm like over that whole thing. And I've just been reflecting a lot over dating. Like, I don't think I've been to a man's apartment within the last two years. And I've seen like, I've seen a handful of men since then, which is like really weird. I always had them come to my apartment and my New York apartment like wasn't that even like that nice at all. So I'm like reflecting on what, like, I don't know why I just brought that up, but I'm just like reflecting on little things. I'm like, oh, that's like kind of weird. Like that's a little bit weird. Just, yeah, where I'm like, I guess I'm just like in the control of everything. I don't know. I don't really like that. Um, oh, I also saw this TikTok of this girl and she was talking. She was like a high quality man. She's like, you guys like need to start dating high quality men because she's like the man I'm like seeing is like so fucking high quality and she's like it motivates me to be like a better person like i've never in my life dated talked to any of those things somebody who like made me want to be a better person like i don't know i feel like i motivate myself in that way a lot but like i feel like i've always been that person for uh, like not to be conceited or cocky or whatever but like i've always been that way to other people um, like I've always, and I love to do that to motivate. I have like a knot right here. So I'm getting that out with the gua sha, but I've always motivated other people to be like the best versions of themselves. Like I, I do that. I've never had anybody like my best friends do. Like I keep my friends around me who do that. They like motivate me to actually like, I don't even know, but I was thinking about that. I was like, that's insane that I've never dated a man. I've never dated a high quality man. And you're like, bitch. 
by the story times we know okay but that's like the dating update i've just come to a lot of realizations the frontal lobes developing and we're just going forward with that work has like been great which it's like weird to be like work because like this is work technically uh but i never view it as that because i love to do what i'm doing sorry you guys i have like a knot or something here and it's really bothersome do i have it on the other side he's timing me it's Maisie and a random number she needs to stop adding me into those anyways um i have also yeah okay obviously i have new projects coming up i've you've seen me on tiktok live you've seen me on instagram i've talked about it you're like this is so fucking annoying i think we all know what it is i actually put like a little easter egg in this video i'm a little taylor swift bitch i put a little easter egg in this video if you guys catch it you catch it Maisie, stop calling me anyways um we all know what it is it's coming soon i can't give you a date there's a lot of other things that need to meetings and stuff that need to happen before there's just a lot that it goes into it but like i can't just like give it to you guys it's been a while trust me i know i feel like we're almost coming up on a it's over six months at this point but that just means when it does come out like that ready <laughs> secret project loading but anyways um i'm trying to think of what else oh friend wise i'm definitely like I have done my birthday, like my birthday trip. I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly who's coming with me. And like, it's a small group this year, girls. It's a small group this year, which I love. It's my 25th. It's my golden birthday. Like, I, it's going to be a small group of just like the people I genuinely love the most and who are bringing like good positive energy into my life. I feel like my frontal lobe is developing even more to the fact where I'm like, cutting not cutting i'm cutting people off let me not fucking lie not even like in a bad way though it's just like i'm distancing myself from people who i need to distance myself from who i probably need to distance myself from for a while but just like refuse to do so but i'm excited for the birthday trip that's coming up in june 25th if you bitches don't know my birthday you're fake as fuck but also i feel like i met so many great people and like friends um these past like i don't know i feel like april was such a transformative month for me so i am so excited about everything that's happening and is like coming up i don't know i just feel like i've literally transformed to my la self if that makes any sense like i'm fully here fully moved in fully present fully know i want to be here for a while like I know I want to buy a home here I want to do all those things and like really plant my roots here and like keep it going I'm just honestly it's been I think this is the happiest I've been in so long just this whole LA experience is like the happiest I've been and it's just every day I do wake up even if I don't fucking seem like it or act like it I am so fucking grateful for where I'm at everything I've done and just like the life I provided for myself but also the life that I'm able to live because of you guys like I don't think you understand how just much I love you guys and like truly utterly grateful I am for you guys like I am so beyond aware that I would not have any of the things the success or the anything that's happened if it wasn't for you guys and like don't think I take that for granted any day not me bitch maybe somebody else but not me and that's why I like keeping like a close connection with you guys and like I like to share so much of my life because it does feel like we're best friends even if it's just like i it does and it just kind of feels like i talk a lot though but um i'm putting grande lash on my my lashes it's linked in my amazon storefront i'll link it on this video everyone's asking how my lashes get so long it's fucking grande lash bitch but 10 out of 10 recommend grande lash i'm breaking up so i did change up my diet because of skin and mental health so i'm on like i don't even want to call it a strip i also like don't love talking about like diets and stuff not even it's not a diet like i just changed the way i'm eating and like i'm cutting certain things out because i'm cutting gluten and dairy and sugar out basically because i really want my skin to clear up number one but number two my ocd has been bad so there's just like a bunch of health things like benefits for that for me specifically because there's this whole thing. I can go into it. If, what is that? 
What is that? Did I just like get all this product everywhere? Okay, whatever. But I didn't go into it if you guys want me to go into it one day, but like I'm cutting out, yeah, gluten, dairy, and sugar because it'll help with a lot of things that I've been struggling with. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know where I was going that at all. Oh, I kind of forgot. Okay, but that was like really random. Anyways, I love you all so much. I'm glad we had this little chit chat session. We got to like catch up with each other. Um, I love every single, I'm like so confused. I just like, hold on a minute. Love every single one of you. Have a great day, night, evening, whatever the fuck you're watching this. Love you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. I love you bitches so much. Bye. I